Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. I'm over at the off-grid cabin. As you all know, the off-grid cabin is where one and I spend a lot of time at. It's our downtime place. Um, and when we're over here, because it's off-grid, we don't want everything to be about having a solar bank built up. We have invested a lot of time and energy into working with the Blue Eddies over here. We now have five different Blue Eddy uh, power stations and we just came up and was uh, presented with a 2000 watt Blue Eddy which is, th is this uh, power station right here it has six uh, outlets here they're um, 120 volt outlets uh, the guy liked it got the rubber covers over them you pull it up and you can see when I pull it up there that the outlets are underneath it there. I like that because it kind of keeps the dirt and anything like that, dust out of them and all. Uh, it has two USB uh, charging ports here. One is a 3 amp, or they're both 3 amp, 6 volt, 3 amp uh, charging ports for the USB. It has one here for your phone, a, uh, a, a 60 watt one for the phone. You have the uh, 12 volt DC outlet like cigarette lighter thing here right there. We really like that and then you have The where you can just plug two 12 volt jacks into it also now And then it has a regular DC output over here uh, Where you can plug one of those into it and guys We had this is new to us here at the at the cabin we wanted something that we could run the whole cabin on. Now it also has the chargers on top up here for your cell phones. If you need to lay it'll, it'll charge two cell phones up there. It's got the magnet back on them. Want to be sure to mention that. It charges with uh, both AC uh, adapter or you can plug your solar system into it. And that's what we like about it here. We have a solar plug coming into the cabin here. We just plug it into the side over here and let the uh, solar panels uh, do the charging on it. But what I like about it is, is the display screen here. The display screen has so many functions on it. The display screen here, you've got an AC thing. I have it turned on now. You just lightly touch it with your finger. You don't, don't hit it hard. You just lightly touch it. You can just come up here and, and see the DC thing comes up right there and you can turn the DC on now you can use both AC and DC at the same time and or you can turn the DC right back off as you can see there we're at 46 percent we ran this thing hard the whole other night that we were over here we ran all the ceiling fans in the cabin all the lights in the cabin we had our uh, our monitors to let us know whatever moves around on the property all plugged in. Cell phones was plugged in charging. We made coffee with this. Um, I mean, we, we basically just put it to the test. And what you can do when you put it to the test is you can go here and you can hit this button right here and it shows you what's being pulled right now. Now there's nothing actually being pulled. Now this one is going to walk in there and turn the ceiling fans on. The living room. Turn the ceiling fans on. There's one to just turn the ceiling fans on in there. They're not on yet. Hold up. Well let me turn it on high. She's going to turn them on high. And we're going to see exactly what's being pulled here. Okay, we have two ceiling fans running on high with two, lights. with two light kits going with six lights. We're pulling 1.6 amps or 192 watts. That helps us to understand what's being pulled in the cabin when we're using something. As you can, now she just turned all the kitchen lights on with it. We're at 1.9 amps and 227 to 28 watts. The bedroom light and ceiling the, fan. Okay, she just turned the ceiling fan and the bedroom and the light kit in the bedroom on. We're now pulling 2.3 amps, 287 watts. Just she just turned the bathroom lights on. So every light. We have the uh, pantry lights on here now. 
Well, wait, one more. Wait. And the uh, hall light, we've got it on now. Every light in the house is on, and three ceiling fans. Every light in our house, our cabin, is on right now. And this is what we're pulling, 2.4 amps. Now, this is using LED lights. We're not using any of the old-style old lights. Running about 2.4, close to between 287 and 300 watts is being pulled at this time. Okay. So what we like about this is we can keep up with our power. What I have here is I have this uh, plug-in with a number 10 wire plugged into one of my outlets here. And I have it plugged into a plug-in here which back feeds into a power box that I have up here. Now that power box where I have it tied into has a 100 amp breaker on it right there. If I decide that I'm going to use the generator to run the cabin outside and have it it's plugged up outside and I crank the generator up before I do that I come in here and throw this 100 amp breaker and turn it off and that prevents any back feed into these power stations now if I'm going to use the solar system out there the battery banks and all that kind of stuff I have a 50 amp service out there I disconnect and and I turn and connect I have a 50 amp on the uh generator and I have a 50 amp on the uh, solar system and whichever one of them I'm going to use is the one I turn on. The other ones I leave turned off. So I basically can run this cabin three different ways. I can run it off of these power stations, I can run it off of the solar, or I can run it off of a gas or propane generator out there. It, it works either way and we are just excited. Now the Blue Eddy, this one right here, the 2000 watt one is kind of heavy for a lot of people. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 46 or 47 pounds uh, is what this one weighs. It's got two handles on each side so you know a person can grab it or two separate people can grab it and pick it up and tote it off. Uh, we charged it the other day with the AC just to see and it took about, it wasn't all the way down but I think it took like five to six hours of charging and we had it charged back up. Now it has a lot of things on the screen here. You can uh, you can punch that it, and it tells you the wattage, the volts, and the amps uh, a lot more in detail than what the other one did there. This side over here has your DC load on it. It, all, it also has the settings here. You can actually set this thing where it only puts out a certain amount of uh, power uh, to any one frequency or mode or you know that you've got going or you can put uh, you can put the language in here where you want English you can put on here uh, the buzzer setting so that there is a overload a buzzer goes off and you can hear the buzzer it's got the date the time all that stuff on it I mean it's got a lot of really nice features here uh, I was going to try to this is a PVC car charge um, there's a lot you can do with this thing you can technically charge this from the uh, 12 volt in your car if you want to uh, you can plug it in right there and leave the car battery running leave the car running you can actually charge this thing from the car there's so many features about this thing that just makes it nice first off we want to mention that uh, Blue Eddy is having a power sale uh, from the uh, 20th to the 30th and they're offering these at discounts so if you're interested in one of these I strongly suggest them I mean I'm not gonna lie one that I was in the process of fixing to buy one when Blue Eddy contacted us and wanted to know would we do a review on one of their uh, new 2000 watt ones and they have a 2400 watt one also which in the near future if we see we need that extra power me and Wanda may go ahead and purchase a 2400 watt one because they've got this sale going on and it, and it's on all Blue Eddies it's not just this one it's on all the Blue Eddies now we have the um we have the the 1500 one here we've been running the cabin on this 1500 one for about a year or two now 
and it's done fantastic but we realized that we needed just a little bit more power to run the whole cabin for any length of time now this one does fine on the ceiling fans and the lights and stuff like that but if we needed to use like we have a 12 volt uh dc refrigerator in there if we wanted to run that it kind of takes its toll on this one a little bit but this one here will pick it up and do okay with it uh, now we have some uh, a 500 watt one over here and i think a 300 watt one up there we use these and a 100 watt one up here we use these for like if we're going to be reading over here a lot rather than turn all the lights on in the cabin and draw from this right here we'll just grab one of these little small blue eddies here and take it in there and set it down beside us and we'll plug a light into it there and not use up all of our energy in our big one here or if we have a hurricane coming in or something like that we'll grab a couple of these here when we go down to our underground shelter we'll take those with us in case the power goes off we can plug a light into them and we can keep lights down in the underground shelter and stuff like that they don't off gas or anything to that nature uh, we can keep our cell phone plug down there into it and keep it charged we don't have to worry about the battery going dead in it uh, several things that we can use the blue eddies for around here but mainly our big thing is we live in hurricane zones and it is one of those things that unless you lived in a hurricane zone and you've been like we were we're 26 days one time without electricity uh trying to survive in a hundred and something degree heat outside these things come in handy because you can turn a little old fan on you plug a little small fan on right there beside you and you can run it long enough to cool yourself off if you get overheated and then you can flip it back off and just use it that way uh, it'll run for days on those little small fans and to go along with all that what we have here at the off-grid cabin Wanda and I also have two suitcase uh, power panel systems that's 100 watts each that fold out uh, they will actually charge the blue eddies or they will charge your cell phone or you can charge a computer you can charge laptops you can charge anything with those fold out solar panels uh, there's just they make an assortment of different things that you can use these blue eddies for guys I, I strongly encourage you if you don't have one and you live in a hurricane zone you need to be considering them we just uh, spoke with a lady yesterday her husband bought the 2400 watt uh, blue eddy for them because he wanted to have something that was portable he could take with him wherever he needed to go in case there was no power and they're very pleased with it um, we had another person telling us that they was fixing to purchase one of the 2000 watt ones I mean and we've run across numerous people here lately that has mentioned to us oh we already have the blue eddies and we just and we love them and and, and I, I I can't say enough about them now, I've I've looked into all the different the varieties and stuff like this blue eddy has been the one that seems like and I have other ones I'll tell you now I have other power stations and blue eddy is the one so far that uh, has towed the line as far as I'm concerned that's why we're strong advocates of the Blue Eddies. The Blue Eddies have never let us down. Now, I don't actually know. This is a probably, uh, I haven't done any research on what's inside this one yet, but I'm pretty sure it's got a lithium ion battery in it. You want to not, you want to keep it from getting into extreme colds because lithium ions, uh, when they get into extreme colds, they don't work real well. I've never had that happen here at the cabin all through winter last year. This one here that we used never gave us a moment's trouble. It worked fine. Uh, as soon as we get through using it tonight, well, the next morning when we get up, we grab the uh, the solar panel cord here. We uh, we just plug it into them. This one here plugs in right here in the front over on that side. You see the green light comes on. Tells you the solar panels are automatically working. And uh, so we do that. But this one's completely charged. They're all charged except for this one it's not charged up all the way because we run it down on purpose solar panels work fantastic with the blue eddies if you are uh anticipating a, a grid down situation uh an emp or anything like that happening um, i don't know i can't give you a 100 percent definite uh 
whether an EMP would destroy these or not. They probably would, to be honest with you, if you didn't have them in a Faraday cage. I would strongly suggest if you have one that you're not using and you're not using it during the day, uh, is to unplug it and put it in a Faraday cage and keep it there in case something other happens then you'll be able to take it out and you'll be able to use it. Now we're probably going to build us a Faraday cage for these and when we're not over here we'll keep them in the Faraday cage and keep them locked up so that in the event uh, like a Carrington event or something like that takes place or an EMP or whatever uh, solar flares they'll be protected and then afterwards if nobody else has any power we'll still have our power because we'll have our blue eddies and guys check out the link in the description down below and go check them out between the 20th and the 30th they have that power station sale going on and I think that you will uh, I, I know I'm pleased and I believe if you had them and you needed them you would be pleased also so thank you guys from Deep South Homestead